Hi everybody, it's Tina again. Welcome back to my channel, both old and new. <laughs> um, I hope you stick around for this video. It's quite a long video, but I've got quite a bit to show you. I've it's um I've done a couple of car vlogs that you may think they're too long, I'm not sure, but the countryside was so beautiful. Um one was a, a bowling day out. Um we went um uh to a hamlet called guys not too far away well between here and preston anyway you'll see in the video um then the other thing that i vlogged was just on the way to an 80th birthday um then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you an update on my decorating <laughs> so watch this space we haven't progressed very far because the decorators come in next week but i thought i'd show you where we're up to um and then i've got some um fitville uh Flip, like flip floppy type sandals to show you which I was so thrilled to get because um I had some a couple of years ago and do you know I've worn them to death in fact the soles all worn you know so in fact I was going to show you them but I don't know what I'm doing with them at the moment I think they're in the car so um let's get into the video and I'll come back to you later morning everybody it's Friday today do you know, I can't believe it's nearly a week since my brother's um, wedding anniversary. Where does the time go? <laughs> um, today, uh, the bowling club, um, they have a day out once a year. <clears throat> and we usually go to a place called Guy's at Bill Billsbury. It's like a little hamlet type place. Um, it's like a big restaurant and they have bowling greens and all sorts of things there. Um, and they went on a coach this morning at half nine. Well, because I'm not bowling still, um, I didn't want to go to be there all day because they're there all day till this evening. They go for dinner this evening or tea, whatever you think, you know. Um, more tea time, I suppose. Um, So uh, I didn't want to go on the coach because I um, I didn't want to be there all day and I'm still a bit iffy about my IBS. I'm sorry to if this is too much information. Uh, but I didn't want to be in the, or there all day in case it triggered it off. Also, I'm very careful about what I'm eating at the moment. Um, and I, I think it's sandwiches at lunchtime and I don't know why I just don't. I'm not into pre-packed sandwiches. I know it sounds awful. There's probably nothing wrong with them. Anyway, so I just thought that I would, uh, right, can I go here? I just thought that I'd go a bit later. So it's about 11 now. So I'll probably get there for lunchtime. It's in a nice place. I'll, I'll turn you around so you can see uh, as I drive there. Um, where are we going? I oh, will have to go down the new bypass. I don't think I've ever been on it from this end. I have to see how I get on. I'm sorry if you if you have difficulty hearing me with the traffic noise. There is a lot of traffic noise today. It's very busy. There's an awful lot of people coming into Blackpool today. So they said on the radio anyway. There seems to be a lot of people on the other side of the road. Right, when I can stop somewhere, I'll turn you around so you can see where we're going. It's usually a lovely day. Um, you know, the bowl all day. I think the men are there as well. Um, and they tend to bowl all, they, I think they're bowling for a cup or something. Um, so it's really nice. I'll probably mark them. The weather's a bit iffy. I thought it was going to be nice. Um, but when I came out, it felt quite cold. So hopefully it'll stay dry. That's the main thing. We went one year and it poured down all the time. We had to go inside and play snooker. Not that any of us knew how to play. Right, I might be able to turn you around now as I'm stopping at the tr 
traffic lights. Oh no, probably not. Oh yes, it's changing. Here we are. I have um, a can rolling round in the back that you can probably hear. I think it's de-icer or something. I tried to clean my car out a bit last week <laughs> and I must have left it in there. I found it in the back of the car. It takes you miles round to just go a couple of miles up the road. It's I can't really see a lot of the benefit of it.
phone's getting really hot. This is um, one of the problems when you're doing it in the car. I'll need to pull in somewhere to adjust it. I can't at the moment because there's somebody behind me. <laughs> so hot at the back of my neck already. Roofs are all thatched. The 
bowling greens down here. There's like a fair over there by the look. You can see a bouncy castle anyway, whether it's just children's play area. see some of them bowling in the distance. I just want to pop in the video here and show you some shoes that well uh, sandals that have been sent from Fitville um, I've worked with Fitville quite a few times and I'm really impressed with their shoes and trainers um, but they let me choose anything I wanted but to be truthful um, I, I got a pair of uh, these sort of sandals a couple of years ago and I've worn them to death honestly so, uh, they said I could choose two pairs, um, so I choose, chose two pairs the same. Now, I've practically wore, I've worn these so much, the navy blue ones, since I got them. They're so comfortable, really comfortable, very spongy. They give you a little bit of height. And Fitville, uh, they specialise um, in shoes for people with foot problems. So it's really worth looking at their website because they've all sorts of things that are suitable for people with neuropathy, you know, diabetic neuropathy, uh, people who've got that, um, oh, I can't think what it's called now, you know, the spur in your heel. Um, uh, um, it'll come to me in a minute. I'll probably end up putting it across the screen. And all sorts of foot problems. Now, I got some of this sort of style, not exactly the same, a couple of years ago I just wore them and wore them and as you can see I've been wearing these all the time since I got them but um, they are so comfortable but what I did was I didn't open the pink ones because they sent me two pairs and I chose navy and I chose pink um, and these are the pink ones actually they'll go perfectly with those um, pink trousers that I got from Marks and Spencers you know in my last vlog um, so they're absolutely so comfortable the spongy here and this is a velcro fastening so if you've got a wider foot um you, you you know you can or you have difficulty putting your shoes on it's so easy um and they're offering i mean they're brilliant i'm not just saying that because i do find them really comfortable you probably see me wearing them in a lot of my vlogs um, now, they're offering a very generous 28% discount. So I'll put that across the screen. Just let me check what it is. I think it's, yes, it's Tina28. Um, so what I'm going to do, and that's available both in the UK and in the US, you know, if you're um, a US viewer, which I know I have got quite a few US viewers. So what I'll do is I'll put the links in the description box uh, to the Fitville um the sandals i mean they do trainers they do all sorts of things you know walking shoes um so it's really worth taking a look i'll put a link to the website and as i say i love these so i love this color as well isn't it nice it's sort of like a dusky pink you know i thought if i got these and the navy blue ones it'd probably go with anything right back to the video afternoon everybody it's uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday afternoon. I'm just popping um, to a little 80th birthday celebration. Um, it's a lady's um, 80th birthday and she's just having a little soiree for 
between one and three or one and four I think um, you know just for a friends and that you know so I, that's where I'm going now it's sunny but very very cloudy it is inside so that's good then I've got to get back my brother and sister, well I don't know if it's my brother, but my sister-in-law's coming round, just calling, and uh, then I've got to film, I've not filmed the Sunday Sunshine Show and it's Saturday afternoon. Um, because we're doing a, a summer reset, uh, and I haven't really been able to do it this week, so I'm probably just gonna do maybe a keto recipe or something. Um, we'll see. I'll turn you around while my car stops. Right, we're just going past, there's a, a travelling circus here, I don't know if you can see it. Circus Mondeo. It comes every year. People say it's very good. I mean, we do have our own circus in Blackpool at the Tower. The Tower Circus is very good. In fact, um, Last week when my cousins came up, the younger ones took all the children to the tower. They said it was well worth the money. Um, I think if you get it online uh, the day before, you save quite a bit. I think they got one of those passes. I think they said it was about 30 odd pound. And they went to the Sea Life Centre. There's lots of different places it's included. They went to the Sea Life Centre first. And then um, they... Uh, went into the tower and went to the circus in the tower it is a very good circus and they still have, I don't know anybody who's been years ago, I mean when I was a child you know and I'm talking about 50 odd years ago, uh, they used to have this water feature where at the end of the circus because in those days they used to have animals oh, and you think lions and tigers and um, elephants and that, they used to come and put like a cage up but you were sat very near them they used to put like railings up around the circus ring and then all the animals would come in but of course they don't do that now um, it's good that they don't, you know, because of animal safety um, so, um, but the, and then at the end they used to have this water feature where the floor went down of the circus the ring, the circus ring went round and all this beautiful water feature came up. Well, when you think, it was probably quite an achievement that all those years ago. I don't actually know when, I must Google and see when it actually um, started the water feature at the tower. Um, but um, they still got it, my cousins were saying, and they said it was still, it's still quite a spectacle, really. Which I didn't think it would be because things have progressed so much, haven't they? You know, you're used to seeing things like that nowadays. But the tower, um, for anybody who doesn't know, Blackpool Tower is designed on the Eiffel Tower in France, you know, in Paris. It supposedly looks very similar. I've never been to Paris, so I've never seen the Eiffel Tower. I love seeing all the roses in the garden. Mine are doing quite well. I've just got one that isn't. Um, it's never done well. I got one when it would have been my golden wedding, which was two years ago, I think. Was it two years ago? 1972. Yeah, two years ago. My daughter bought me a rose uh, for golden wedding. Um, it's never done very well. It's a shame. Because it was um, David Austin Rose, very spindly. Maybe it's just a type of rose. We had a nice day at the bowling thing yesterday. I wasn't so keen on my dinner, that you know, your tea that you had. Um, they had sandwiches and chips at lunchtime. Um, I'm a bit iffy about pre-made sandwiches, I don't know why. 
I think it was because I got food poisoning after some once, and that was years ago, but it sort of put me off. Um, but I did have some chips. I mean, the sandwiches looked very nice, but then later on, we had dinner, and I have to say, it wasn't that good. Starter was good. I wish we'd just had the starter. She's having a little do at the bowling club. You know, there's like a little clubhouse, so she's having it there. Then I think they're going um, on a nice holiday afterward. Well, in August, they're going to. Um, I think she said they're going to Gibraltar first and staying on a luxury yacht, which must be lovely. She said she stayed on it before, and then they're going down to this beautiful hotel in Fungarola. And then I think they're coming back by train via Barcelona. That's a nice holiday, isn't it? A nice break. just going to pass Sainsbury's now. I must call in Sainsbury's afterwards to get some things to cook this recipe for the video tomorrow. Right, I'm going to switch you off now because I'm not far away. Right, so... Oh. Right, so you'll have to excuse me if this is a bit... Um, a bit shaky but I'm trying out a new gimbal which I've had sent uh, I will put this in a, a later video but I'm just practicing with it now so um, this is my new dining table uh, and chairs which I got from the Cotswold company I am really pleased with it because my other one I mean I had had my other one over 20 odd years but um, this one doesn't take up quite as much room and now I don't have as many people round as what I used to um, you know, uh, when all the family were at home. Right, I'll just show you. These are the shades of paint that I'm thinking of for here. I think this one's going to be the winner. Um, it will be a copy of the Farrow and Ball Cromarty. I think that's what it's called. These were the other shades. Um, I did quite like that one. But I'm just frightened of it being a little bit dark because I'm having wallpaper up this end and it is quite warm, uh, dark, the wallpaper. So, this is the panelling that the joiners put on. This is all going to be painted in that pale green. Well, do you know, I think I'm liking this... Um, gimbal i've never used one before uh, my son did buy me one last year not last year the year before for christmas but i couldn't get it i couldn't make head and a tail of it this is an ai one so anyway i'm telling you about it now and i've got to do a video on it so i shouldn't be doing so um that's the room at the moment I'll update you. As I say, the decorator's coming next week, fingers crossed. And I've got Mabel. I don't think you can see Mabel there. Um, and Mummy and Daddy. <laughs> My daughter and her husband um, are on holiday, so I'm looking after Mabel. And there's Betsy asleep. <laughs> I've got, honestly, my daughter-in-law, my son-in-law, the best daughter-in-laws and son-in-laws I could wish for. Uh, my son-in-law, uh, he surprised her and he upgraded, I mean, it, it is the wedding anniversary and he upgraded them when they got to the airport. She had no idea, so she was so excited. She's never been business class before. <laughs> He's so nice. He's so generous. Right, so into the hall. Now, I've just had the hall. I don't know, I've put a light on so you can see. I've had it panelled halfway up and then I'm going to have the wallpaper on the top here. I'm just having it up that side because the wallpaper is quite expensive. I couldn't really afford to have it all round. Everything's so expensive nowadays, isn't it? I don't know if you can see. 
Oh, I don't know what I'm doing with this. You'll have to excuse me with this gimbal. I don't really know what I'm doing with it. There we are. Can you see the top of the stairs? So that's the update at the moment on my uh, my decorating. Right, so this is the end of this vlog. I hope you're still watching. <laughs> it is rather long, isn't it? But I had such a lot to sort of tell you about, you know, show you. So if you liked it and you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please do. It doesn't cost anything. It's absolutely free. Um, and if you are one of my regular subscribers and you'd like to leave me a comment, that would be lovely. And I'll see you in my next video, which won't be long. I've still got part two of the Marks and Spencer's haul to do. I'm probably going to try and film that this afternoon. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Oh, look what I've just done. I've just sat on my beautiful glasses. I sat on them whilst they were just then as I finished videoing. That's no good. And it's broke both ends, would you believe? I must lose weight. Okay, bye-bye. See you in the next video.